we consolidated uh, most of the vehicles and most of the heritage assets into this one location uh, and our grand opening was in 2004. Uh, we're not open to the public but we do get a lot of public through here through enthusiast groups. We have anything from uh, vehicle records, uh, build records for Cadillac to uh, service manuals, parts description manuals, uh, parts books, photographs, uh, films, just a ton of the whole myriad of things that are available for, for the automotive enthusiast. We also have the Media Archive Group uh, researchers here as well, which are uh, over 7 million uh, images on database. Uh, they also have uh, thousands of uh, motion pictures and commercials and stuff. And Most everything here has been repurposed in some way or another. Uh, the carpet we're standing on was overbought. The desk that everybody sat at, our uh, Dunbar furniture from the executive offices at Oldsmobile from the 50s. This is a display that we change on a yearly basis. Uh, it's about design. Of course, Harley Earl in the, is the focal point of the design. General Motors was the first to have an exclusive automotive design uh, studio, and Harley Earl was head of that. It was called Art and Color. And uh, many of the concept vehicles that we're going to see out here today uh, were cars that Harley Earl uh, influenced in some way or another. This is a very uh, special Corvette that was done by the female designers that Harley Earl uh, employed. He called them the damsels of design. And uh, this is the Corvette that was done. Uh, by one of the ladies and it's uh, olive silver. Uh, features a uh, interchangeable interior for the seasons. Uh, the license plate is recessed as not to snag on your clothes. It has uh, retractable seat belts as well as uh, uh, storage areas for purses and uh, uh, things of that nature. We usually do a theme display in these cabinets. Uh, this is some of the SS stuff. And you notice when you look through here, it's not always about the past, it's about the future as well. So we have a, a lot of future technologies in here as well as uh, uh, vehicles. General Motors was definitely huge in the transportation business, but there was a lot of other things that G GM did over the years as well. We have the uh, first heart lung machine, uh, which was developed in 1952.